again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have the Gliding Fans Blanket. Mm -hmm. Yep. While back, I did a tutorial on a shawl utilizing the same basic stitch structure. And it was a, a triangular shawl. And I figured out how to create a center out square blanket based off of that. And I love the results. Gorgeousness. It's light, it's lacy, and of course you can make it whatever size you want. You just keep going with the two, yes, two round repeat. It's very, very simple. And I used, by the way, not sponsored for this video, I used Lion Brand's Pound of Love. This is the colorway of maize. And I went into a second skein of yarn and I had this much left over. Now, because of the way center out square blankets work, you know, the, the bigger it is, the more yarn you use for each round. And I was afraid that I wasn't going to have enough for two more rounds, so I left off here. But we're going to use this for today's tutorial. Yep, we're going to make up a swatch. And I used a size I 5.5 millimeter hook. You can, of course, use whatever works best for you, hook size, yarn wise, whatever. Uh, I think an ombre would look really lovely with this stitch, just saying. And uh, of course, also, if you go with a finer gauge of yarn or maybe even a crochet cotton thread, this would make a lovely tablecloth. Yes, somebody had suggested that, and I thought, yeah, that does sound really nice. So, that being said, let's get started. Okay, round one starts off very, very simply. I'm going to start, of course, with our slip knot. And we need a total of 16 double crochets in a ring. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and do a slip stitch to that first chain to create a ring. Now, of course, you can do the magic ring method or whatever method you prefer, but this is what I'm going to be doing. So this is what I'm going to be showing. So I got my ring and I'm going to start by chaining up two to give us the height that we need and then do our 16 double crochets into that center ring. And that chain two does not count as an actual double crochet. So 16 doubles. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. By the way, if you want to skip ahead, I always try to put timestamps in the description box. I don't take it personally. It's okay. <laughs> Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And of course, I am going to double count as always. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Perfect. Okay, so then to finish up round one, slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet that we made. And there you are. And of course, you can cinch up your tail 
and sew in your end. All right, and that is round one. Okay, round two, just as easy as round one. Start by chaining up a total of four chains. One, two, three, and four. Now that's gonna count as a double crochet and a chain one space. Then into the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and so on and so forth all the way around for round two. So we're keeping the same number of stitches. We're just adding chain one spaces in between them to create our increase. It's really that simple. And it is a quick round, so I'm gonna do the whole thing right now. Except, of course, when we get <laughs> a bit of a tangle. That happens. No biggie. Okay, almost done. Got my chain one. Got one more. Double crochet chain one, and then into the third chain from the bottom, or the second from the top, slip stitch. Like so. All right, and that is the end of round two. Okay, so for round three, we're going to start in with the lacy stuff. So start by chaining up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarn over twice because into this stitch right here, we're going to do a treble crochet. So I yarned over twice. I'm going into that stitch and you go in and you pull up a loop you pull through two through two and through two now that creates half of our first corner the second half we will tackle when we have come full circle so from here chain two skip the next post going into that next one with a single crochet chain two skipping a post going into the next one with a treble crochet so again yarning over twice going into that double crochet pull up a loop pull through two through two through two chain four one two three four yarning over twice because in that same stitch we need another treble crochet so going in pulling up a loop pull through two through two through two chain four one two three four yarning over twice into that same stitch again with a treble pulling up a loop Pull through two, through two, through two. So whenever we're going into a corner, you need three trebles in that corner, okay? Right now, over here, we have the equivalent of two. We need one more when we've come full circle. We'll get there. All right, so from here, chain two skip a stitch going to the next one with a single crochet there we are chain two 
yarning over twice because after we skip a stitch and going to the next one, it's a treble crochet. So pull up a loop through two and two, two, chain four, yarning over twice, going into that same stitch with a treble, chain four, yarning over twice, same stitch, treble, pull up a loop through two, through two, through eh, two. There we go. Okay, so now we have two corners and one flat side right there. So we are getting there. All right, now from here, chain two, skip a stitch going to the next with a single crochet. Chain two, yarning over twice, skip a stitch, going to the next with a treble. Some people call it a treble, some people call it a triple, I call it a treble. Through two, through two, through two, chain four. Yarning over twice, treble in the same stitch. chain four, and another treble in that same stitch, chain two, skip a stitch going to the next with a single, chain two, and now we're going to finish up this first corner that we started. So we did our chain two, yarn over twice, and into that stitch that we worked in previously, or into this space here. Either or, I would say it's kind of a minor point. So you could either go into here or into here, and I don't think that you would notice that much of a difference, but I think I'm going to work into this stitch regardless, right into here. So right into there, pulling up a loop, pull through two, through two, through two. So I got my treble there, chain four, one, two, three, four, then into the fourth chain from the bottom, one, two, three, four, slip stitch. Now the reason why it's a slip stitch into the fourth chain from the bottom and not the third is because it is a the equivalent to a treble crochet. So that is the end of round three, and it's looking gorgeous already. Mm -hmm. All right, so let us proceed on to round four. Okay, round four. So we did our slip stitch into that first treble that we made. So from here, do a slip stitch into this chain four space. It gets us where we need to be. Okay, so now from here, chain up three, and that is going to count as a double crochet. We need two more double crochets. Chain two, and then three double crochets. So it's three doubles, chain two, three doubles into that chain four space. All right, and again, this is the first half of our first corner. So from here into this chain two space, 
single crochet, no chains in between. We're just going straight from the doubles into a single crochet into the chain two space. Chain one, and then hopping over that single crochet, do a single crochet into this chain two space. So it's single, chain one, single. Then going from this single, we're going to do the same thing that we did in that chain four space. So going from the single into the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So one, two, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. One, two, and three. Okay. Scooting on to the next chain four space, we need to chain one in between. So chain one, then into this chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. One, two, three, chain two, three doubles. There we are. Then scooting down to our chain two spaces. So from the doubles going into the chain two space with a single crochet chain one, single crochet into the next chain two space. And then we've reached the corner again. So into the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. One, two, three, chain two, three more doubles. One, two, three, chain one, into the next chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three, then scooting down into the chain two space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the next chain two space, pull out a little bit more yarn. Going on to the chain four, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, one, two, three, chain two, one, two, three, chain one, scooting to the next chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, one, two, three, chain two, three doubles, one, two, and three, single crochet into the next chain two space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space, and we have come full circle. So into this chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Okay, then chain one 
and slip stitch to the top of this double crochet. Like so, and that is the end of round four. Okay, and from here on out, the rest of it really is a two round repeat. So let's get to it. Okay, round five. So going to start round five with eight chains, much like we did down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarning over twice. Now, actually we're going to go into this chain one space right here with our treble. So through two, through two, through two. And that creates the first loop of our corner right down here. From here, chain two into the chain two space, single crochet, chain two, and then into this chain one space down here, going to do another treble crochet, chain four, treble crochet. Now in the corners, it is two loops, but on the sides, it's only one. You'll see as we go on. So I did my chain two here after my single crochet, yarning over twice and into that chain one space, treble crochet, chain four, yarning over twice, treble crochet into that same chain one space. There we are. Okay, chain two, single crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and untangle your yarn as needs be. <laughs> It does happen, but you know. All right, so from here, we did our single crochet, chain two. Now in the chain one space of the corner, yarn over twice because in there we need to do a treble crochet, chain four, treble crochet, chain four, and another treble crochet. Like I said, in the corners, three treble crochets separated by chain four spaces. Okay, so from here, chain two, single crochet in the chain one space, sorry, chain two space, pardon me. So chain two, single crochet, chain two, and into that chain one space down there, it's going to be a treble, chain four, treble. Treble, chain four, and treble. Chain two, single crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and we've reached chain one space of the corner. So treble, chain four, treble, chain four, and treble. There we are. We got our three trebles separated by chain four spaces. From here, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space, chain two, into the chain one space, 
treble, chain four, treble. Okay, I only did one yarn over. There we go. So two yarn overs. Do, do, do. Okay, chain four. And treble. There. Chain two. Single crochet in the chain two space. Chain two. And this is our last full corner because then we've cut this corner over here. So right into this corner, it's going to be a treble. Chain four. Treble. Chain four. And treble. Chain two, single crochet in the next chain two space. Chain two. Into the chain one space down here. Treble. Chain four. And treble. Chain two, single crochet into the chain two space, chain two. And now to finish up our first corner, going to do a treble crochet into this chain one space where we started. Chain four. and then slip stitch into the fourth chain from the bottom. One, two, three, four, and slip stitch. Ta -da! So let me lay this out so you can get a nice clear picture of what it is that your piece should look like. And I'm liking the looks of it already. Yes, folks, it is a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. So your piece should look something like this. And so this is the first round of the two round repeat, ultimately speaking. So let's proceed. Okay, round six. Ultimately, I'm really not going to be doing anything new per se, so it should be really easy and quick. So into this first chain four space, slip stitch, chain up three, one, two, three, two more double crochets because that chain three counts as a double crochet. So we've got three doubles chain two, three more doubles into that same space. So this is the first half of our first corner. So from here, single into the chain two space, chain one, single into the next chain two space. Now into this chain four space, it's going to be three singles, chain two, three single, sorry, three doubles, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, pardon me. Just like in the chain four spaces elsewhere. So three doubles, chain two, and three doubles. There we are. And then single, chain one, single. So in the chain two space, single, chain one, single in the next chain two space. And then we've reached the corner. So three doubles, chain 
chain two, three doubles. chain one, and then in the next chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. So like I said, we're really not doing anything new except for this space right there in the middle. That's the only really new difference there. So from here, since we just finished our corner, in the chain two spaces, that's gonna be a single in the first chain two space, chain one, single in the next chain two space, and then in the chain four space along the side, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. One, two, three, chain two, three doubles, one, two, and three, more yarn. Okay, single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the chain two space, and then we have another corner, three doubles, Chain two, three doubles. Chain one, and then into the next chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. We are, and then going to follow suit on this side. So chain two space, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the next chain two space, and then into the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. Single in the chain two space. Chain one, single in the chain two space. And then we've reached another corner once again. And you know what, we're almost there, so I'm just going to forge ahead and do this with you. So three doubles, chain two, three doubles, chain one, and then into the next chain four space. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles. Single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the chain two space, into the chain four space, Three doubles, chain two, three doubles, there we are, and then single crochet in the chain two space, chain one, single crochet into the chain two space. And we're almost done with round six. Mm -hmm. So from here, 
into this last chain four space. Three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. Chain one and slip stitch to the top third chain of our first double crochet. And there you have it. That is the end of round six. And really, this is how our blanket will continue to grow and grow with just a two round repeat. And of course, you can leave off on a round five or a round six, depending upon how you want your blanket to look. Personally, I think that the sort of shell edge, you know, the, the roughly edge looks really nice. However, if you ended it on the previous round, so to speak, it would have more of a flat edge, but it would be more lacy because we just did our eyelets, our, our, big, uh, our big loops there. So that being said, okay. All right, now, because I, I do like to be thorough for you guys, I'm gonna do a repeat for you, and we're gonna call it rounds seven and eight, which is what you would repeat. I mean, technically five and six, yes, but we're gonna keep going. So round seven, this is gonna be the full repeat for you. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the entire rounds, but it will totally get you started to where you need to be. So I'm going to chain up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yarning over twice because in this chain one space down here, treble crochet. And that creates our first half of the corner. Chain two single crochet in the chain two space, like so, chain two. And then in the chain one space down here, treble, chain four, treble. Treble, one, two, three, four and treble. Chain two into the chain two space, single, chain two into the chain one space down here, treble, chain four, treble. Treble, chain four, and treble, chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, and we reached a corner. So treble, chain four, treble, chain four, and treble. It's always three trebles in the corner chain one spaces and two trebles along the, the sides of our piece, okay? So we've got that corner done. Chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, and then in the chain one space, treble, chain four, treble, 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 chain two, 
single in the chain two space, chain two, in the chain one space, treble, chain four, treble, chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, and then in the corner, treble, chain four, treble, more yarn, story of my life. Hmm. Okay, so we've got two trebles. I just need one more. So chain four and treble. Chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, into the chain one space, treble, chain four, treble, treble, one, two, three, four, treble, chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two in the chain one treble chain four treble chain two single in the chain two space chain two and we've reached the corner once again so that is a treble, chain four, treble, chain four, and treble. Like so. And we are almost done with this round. We're going a lot faster than I thought, but you know, a lot of it is, of course, repetition. So, especially with this pattern. So, chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two in the chain one space, treble, chain four, treble. chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, in the chain one space, treble, chain four, treble, one, two, three, four, chain two, single in the chain two space, chain two, and we've reached the beginning again. So after doing our single and our chain two into that chain one space, treble, chain four, and then into the fourth chain from the bottom, one, two, three, four, slip stitch. There we go. And that is the end of round seven. Now, like I was saying before, you could end your, your blanket or whatever it is exactly that you're making on this round if you want a, a straighter edge but a bit more lacy, you know, either or it's totally fine. All right, so let us do round eight for the full repeat. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, round eight. This will be the pace that is Istos. All right, so we did our slip stitch into the chain four space. Slip stitch. Chain three for our first double. Two more doubles for a total of three. Chain two, three more doubles in that same space. There we are. Single in the chain two space. Chain one, single in the next chain two space. In the chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. There we go. Single in the chain two space. I'm spazzing here, I apologize. Single in that chain two space, thank you. Chain one, single in the next chain two space. In the chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. Okay. Single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the next chain two space. And then in our first half of the corner, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. Chain one, three doubles in the next chain four space. Chain two, three more doubles in the same space. Single in the chain two space. Chain one, single in the next chain two space. In the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. In the chain two space, single, chain one, single in the next chain two space. Into the chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three doubles. into the chain one space, sorry, into the chain two space, a single, pardon me. It's been a long day, but I really wanted to do this for you guys. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm, okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to ignore this for now for the most part because this is just a swatch and I'm gonna undo this and reuse this later, but that's novel, okay. Don't mind me. All right, so I did my single crochet into the chain two space. Chain one, single crochet into the next chain two space. Then into the corner, into that first chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three more doubles. Chain one, into the next chain four space, three doubles. Chain two, three more doubles into that same space. OK, 
Okay. And that is two sides done. Okay. So give me a second. Be right with you. Okay, so continuing right along after we finish our corner into the chain two space, single, chain one, single in the next chain two space, into the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, Single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the next chain two space, and then we've reached our chain four again. So three doubles, chain two, three more doubles, Single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the next chain two space, and we've reached the corner. So that's three doubles, chain two, three more doubles in that space. Chain one. Now I just thought, you know, invariably, I'm probably going to get asked, do I have a written pattern for this project? No, I don't. But, you know, we do have this video tutorial for you. You know, I do get asked that a lot, and it's totally a legitimate and fair question, but no, I don't. I'm sorry. I just have this video to show you. So into the next chain four space. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles, I mean, I suppose I could do that, it's just, honestly, I would say I'm so much more of a pattern maker than a pattern writer, but it's the nature of the beast. Okay, so continuing right along into the chain two space. Single, chain one, single in the next chain two space, into the next chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, okay, single in the chain two space, chain one, single in the next chain two space, then three doubles, chain two, three doubles in the chain four space, three doubles, chain two, three doubles, Okay, and we're almost done with round eight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Single crochet in the chain two space, chain one, single crochet into the next chain two space. Now into this last chain four space, three doubles, chain two, and three more doubles. chain one and slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet that we created like so. Now I realized that I was going fast recently, but that's because, like I said, a lot of this is repetition. Mm -hmm. And uh, excuse me, getting situated. You know, a lot of it is repetition from previous rounds, so I didn't think I needed to go that slowly. But I did want to do 
the full rounds so that you really understand. And I like to be thorough for you guys because it leads to less confusion later. So this is, in approximation, what your piece should look like after eight full rounds. So whether you end on a round seven or a round eight, dealer's choice. It's totally up to you. I think they both look equally pretty. So, like I said, timestamps are in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I always get such pleasure, you know, taking something pre-existing and tweaking it to make something new. And the results can really astound sometimes, don't you think? So if you like this, you know, please do give a little thumbs up button down below in the description box, uh, sorry, in the comments box and so on and so forth. Like I said, I'm tired. I'm sorry. It's been a long day, but I really wanted to get this out for you guys. So yeah, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Um, aside from me being a little bit loopy, I do apologize. Um, and uh, yeah, hit subscribe for more stuffs because whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narrations, or of course my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. I'm always creating content for you guys to choose from, and I have so much fun doing it. I do, yes. And also, I am going to try to have the, the blanket in the thumbnail for this video up on my Etsy store shortly, so check that out too. That link is also in the description box where I've got other goodies in there as well. Some patterns, some finished objects, some yarn that I've spun, etc., etc. So until next time, you know what to do. I want you all to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all in my next video. You have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.